In the dim glow of my computer screen, I delved into ancient texts, unraveling the mysteries of a forbidden ritual. The air grew heavy as I chanted the incantations, unknowingly awakening ancient entities that had long slumbered. As the final words left my lips, an ominous presence filled the room. Shadows danced on the walls, and a chilling breeze whispered through the air. Unseen eyes watched from the darkness, and I could feel the weight of their gaze upon me. Night after night, the disturbances escalated. Strange sounds echoed through my home, whispers in languages I couldn't comprehend, footsteps in rooms devoid of life. I dismissed them at first, blaming the creaks of an old house. But soon, the disturbances became impossible to ignore. One evening, as I sat in the solitude of my study, a malevolent force seized control of my surroundings. Books flew off shelves, and the temperature plummeted. The very air seemed to vibrate with an otherworldly energy. Terrified, I sought refuge in research, desperate to find a way to undo the ritual and banish the malevolent spirits. The texts warned of the consequences of meddling with the supernatural, but it was too late. The jinn, angered by my intrusion into their realm, sought revenge. Sleep became a distant memory as nightmares invaded my every moment. I saw twisted visions of shadowy figures, their eyes gleaming with a malevolent glow. Desperation set in, and I turned to experts in ancient lore, hoping to find a solution to my self-inflicted curse. The experts spoke of appeasement, offerings, and rituals to calm the angered spirits. Reluctantly, I gathered the necessary items and prepared for a night of supplication. But as I lit the candles and recited the incantations, the atmosphere grew darker and the room pulsated with an unholy energy. The jinn were not appeased. In fact, my attempts only seemed to enrage them further. Objects levitated and guttural voices echoed in the air. I was trapped in a nightmare of my own making, with no escape in sight. Days turned into endless nights as the malevolent forces intensified their torment. I became a prisoner in my own home, the walls closing in as the supernatural entities played with my sanity. Desperation gave way to madness, and I questioned my very existence. In the darkest hour, a figure materialized before me, a jinn, with eyes that held the wisdom of centuries and a voice that echoed through the depths of my soul. It spoke of the consequences of meddling with forces beyond human understanding and the price I must pay for my reckless actions. As the jinn's words reverberated in the air, I felt the weight of my transgressions. The only way to sever the ties with the otherworldly realm was to willingly surrender a part of my own essence. A sacrifice that would forever alter the fabric of my being. With trembling hands, I agreed to the terms, desperate to break free from the grip of the vengeful jinn. The room quivered as an ethereal energy enveloped me, and I felt a piece of my soul being torn away. The pain was indescribable, but as the ritual concluded, the malevolent presence gradually dissipated. I was left alone, a mere shell of my former self. The jinn, appeased by the sacrifice, retreated to their realm, and the haunting ceased. But the cost of my arrogance was etched into my very being. The horror story had unfolded within the confines of my own life, a cautionary tale of the consequences of toying with the supernatural. In the aftermath, my once vibrant existence had been replaced by a hollow shell, haunted by the echoes of my ill-fated encounter. The scars on my soul ran deep, and the weight of the jinn's curse lingered in every corner of my being. I wandered through the days, haunted by memories of the supernatural torment that had befallen me. The lines between reality and nightmare blurred, and I found solace only in the darkness, where the shadows concealed the remnants of my fractured spirit. Whispers of the jinn's voices followed me, a constant reminder of the irreversible pact I had made. 
the world around me became a distorted reflection of its former self, as if the fabric of reality had been warped by the malevolent forces I had unleashed. Sleep was elusive, for the nightmares persisted even when my eyes closed. I would awaken in cold sweats, the gin's laughter echoing in my ears. Desperation clawed at me, urging me to find a way to reclaim the stolen fragments of my soul. In my quest for redemption, I sought guidance from mystics and scholars, delving deeper into the ancient texts that had led me astray. Each revelation unveiled a new layer of the jinn's wrath, and I realized that my actions had not only affected me but had disturbed a delicate balance between worlds. As I delved into the rituals prescribed by ancient lore, I treaded cautiously, aware that any misstep could plunge me further into the abyss. The supernatural energies resisted my attempts at reconciliation, as if mocking my feeble efforts to mend what I had irreversibly broken. Haunted by the shadows of my past, I sought refuge in forgotten temples and desolate landscapes, hoping to find a way to undo the curse that clung to me. The journey was treacherous, and the line between ally and adversary blurred as spectral entities tested my resolve. In the heart of an ancient temple, where time seemed to stand still, I encountered a wise sage who spoke of sacrifice and redemption. He revealed a path fraught with peril, a journey into the very depths of the jinn's realm, where I would confront the remnants of my transgressions. The ritual required a willingness to confront the darkest corners of my soul, a task I undertook with a heavy heart. The journey was a kaleidoscope of surreal landscapes and surreal encounters, each step draining me of the little strength I had left. As I approached the epicenter of the jinn's domain, a sense of dread gripped me. The malevolent spirits manifested, their forms shifting and contorting in response to my presence. I stood firm, ready to face the consequences of my actions. In a moment of surreal communion, the jinn revealed the depth of their pain, a pain that mirrored my own. The spirits were not merely malevolent entities seeking revenge, they were echoes of souls displaced by my reckless invocation. In that revelation, a glimmer of understanding emerged. I realized that redemption required not only the reclamation of my own essence, but also the healing of the fractured spirits I had unwittingly displaced. It was a daunting task, but I embraced it with newfound purpose. The rituals unfolded, weaving a delicate tapestry of restoration and reconciliation. The jinn, once wrathful, became ethereal allies in the quest for balance. As the final incantations echoed, the distorted reality around me began to stabilize, and the haunting whispers subsided. I emerged from the jinn's realm, forever changed but no longer shackled by the malevolent forces that had plagued me. The world, once warped by supernatural turmoil, gradually regained its normalcy. Yet, the scars on my soul remained, a constant reminder of the price one pays for disturbing the delicate equilibrium between the realms. The horror story had come full circle, and I carried its lessons with me, a cautionary tale etched into the fabric of my existence. In the aftermath of my harrowing journey, the once haunted corridors of my life began to regain a semblance of tranquility. The shadows that had tormented me receded, and the oppressive weight on my soul lessened. However, the echoes of the supernatural ordeal lingered, a spectral reminder of the boundaries that should never be crossed. As I returned to the mundane routines of daily life, I found solace in the small moments of normalcy. Yet, an awareness of the fragility of the unseen barriers between worlds stayed with me. The mystic rites and incantations had granted me reprieve, but they had also left an indelible mark on my perception of reality. Seeking closure, I revisited the texts that had initially led me astray. Through the pages of ancient manuscripts, I discovered the wisdom of those who had navigated the delicate dance between the mortal and supernatural realms. Their warnings were etched with the gravity of experience, cautioning against the allure of forbidden knowledge. 
In the wake of my encounter with the jinn, I became a guardian of ancient secrets, advocating for the preservation of mystical lore without succumbing to the temptation of reckless experimentation. I dedicated myself to understanding the delicate balance between worlds and educating others about the perils that lay hidden in the folds of forgotten rituals. The scars on my soul transformed into a source of wisdom, a beacon that guided others away from the treacherous paths I had once traversed. As I shared my cautionary tale, I became a storyteller of the supernatural, weaving a narrative that echoed through the ages, reminding humanity of the consequences of disturbing forces beyond comprehension. In the quiet moments of reflection, I pondered the intricacies of existence. The jinn, once adversaries, had become spectral allies in the pursuit of equilibrium. Their whispers now held the cadence of ancient wisdom, a reminder that redemption could arise from the most unexpected alliances. Life moved forward, but the spectral encounter remained an integral part of my identity. The jinn had bestowed upon me a unique perspective, a glimpse into the tapestry of existence that extended beyond the visible spectrum. The haunting whispers had subsided, replaced by a subtle resonance that connected me to the unseen currents of the supernatural. As I gazed into the night sky, I wondered about the countless other realms that existed beyond human perception. The boundaries between the known and the unknown blurred, inviting contemplation on the mysteries that lay shrouded in the cosmic tapestry. In the end, the horror story of disturbing the jinn served as a testament to the fragility of the human spirit and the enduring consequences of playing with forces beyond comprehension. The lessons learned were not only mine to bear, but a shared wisdom that resonated through the corridors of time, reminding all who listened that some secrets were better left undisturbed.